Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is, Roma's making coffee. Uh, today is the Rose Bowl flea market. Now, if I was by myself, I would not be going. Uh, I, I don't know what, I, I used to go all the time, but I don't know what my aversion is to it. I just think I started over time just not finding very much. But he wanted to go, so I was like, okay, like, get out. It, it is cooler today, it's like 45 degrees. Um, but I was like, okay, we'll get out. We'll just like walk around and stuff. And you never know what you can find. We're gonna go, I got my hat on, got my layers on so I'm warm. Got my coffee, I just need my purse and my phone. Kinsley, you can't come, honey. I love you. Uh, this is a pretty big show. Oh. I was like, what is that sound? It's the milk frother on the... <laughs> usually makes iced coffee, so I haven't heard that noise yet. This is a pretty big market too. February, February, March, April is really good weather. It's not super hot in Pasadena, so maybe it'll be good. So there are a couple of things that I could be looking for. Romeo had a good idea to, for something that we could incorporate into the nursery, which was a telescope, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, a small one, not one that's like uh, tall or like would sit on the floor, but maybe one that was more like tabletop. I don't know. We, you know, you never know what you can find. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, the home section at the Rose Bowl has now become definitely a mixture of clothing and home and new. So it's, um, it's just more of a mix, which is why we're walking together because there's more clothing vendors, which I'm happy about. Also, I want to find a really pretty pendant light uh, for because there's a really weird kind of like more like halogen, not halogen. Yeah, maybe halogen, like like spotlight in the nursery. I've already taken it down because we needed to paint around it, um, but it was more like very spotlighty and I want to find a really pretty, I'll put in one of the inspiration pictures so you can kind of see what I was looking for. Um, something like this. I like that it's not one. I need like, th like three, an odd number, like three kind of like central points um, because I'm going to have a single thing on the wall. You know, so I'm trying to balance the the number of, of items you're looking at. I don't know. There are a couple of places, like lighting places specifically, that I want to go check out. But it's worth a shot to see if I could find anything here too. I just found the prettiest easel. It has the best patina on it. It's absolutely stunning. I just got it because I'm like, I've been looking for an easel and this one is the perfect old one. Like, it is so neat. Oh, she's gonna keep it for us. Wait, I'm so excited about that easel. I have the perfect place for an easel by my desk to have just like rotate out like pretty art. And I have some pieces that I got from France, you know, that I can't really like, I don't have a wall space for. And I feel like that's going to be perfect. Actually, if you remember, I went to an estate sale and looked at an easel. It was nowhere near as pretty. It would have been cheaper, but like that was like, oh. I'm so excited. The longer I looked at it, the more I would love I was with it. And you know, that's a good thing. Okay, 
so now we're backtracking to go get my easel. So we'll go to the end, right? Was that before or after you got a teriyaki bowl? <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's find the teriyaki bowl and go backwards. We found the vendor again. She's coming home. I love all the paint that's on it. It just looks really worn in and used, which I like. <sighs> we got the easel. Ooh, I'm tired from walking. I wonder how many steps we walked. The, got the easel. Oh. You know, although I only found one thing, I'm very happy with my one thing. We're just over here normalizing really small decor halls lately. Oh. Either I'm being super particular. I think I have entered a phase where I am being like really particular and I've collected quite a lot. There's only so much that one person or a family needs. Yeah. Like, but something like that, I have been kind of keeping my eyes peeled for. I came for telescopes and light. But I left with something I forgot I was really interested in. So that's all we got? That's all good. That's, so you got an you easel bought a on shirt the... just because you were uncomfortable. So you got, uh, you got an easel. It got hot. I got one t-shirt and a chicken teriyaki bowl. That was good. But we didn't pay for parking. Today is also Super Bowl Sunday. We're going over to a friend's house. We got to go home and make seven layer dip. I got all the ingredients and stuff already. So we just need to kind of put it together. We have made it home. I can't. I can't see you now with inside with that on. Making seven layer dip. Now I say making very lightly. Most of the stuff was like store made at Whole Foods. Like I like not gonna make guacamole from scratch and, but it's really good. The, this, the, like the ones that the store makes at Whole Foods is, is really good. So it's like, I can't make it that good. We're just gonna layer all this together. More like a layer short because I don't like olives, so I didn't put olives in it. <laughs> <Okay>. <sighs> it's the next day. I watched the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. It's the next day. I worked on computer work this morning. Then got myself a little bit, you know, needed to wash my hair, needed to do those things. And I was working on some of the changes for the measurements for the kitchen because I'm working with that uh, ren renderer, CAD professional, CAD professional, uh, that is going to render our kitchen, which I told you guys about in the last vlog. So really excited to see it. I've already seen like 2D elevations. I just needed to make tweaks to like measurements because th some things were not centered. And that's a big thing for me like a lot of things have to all line up and stuff so romeo is about to go work out so i'm gonna make him some ag1 big thank you to ag1 for sponsoring today's video you guys know we love them i've been drinking it for the past year or so and recently romeo has started to drink it as well and he loves it as like a pre-workout right before he goes and hits the gym in the afternoon he'll drink it really quite amazing it's a daily foundational nutrition drink that you can drink every day and it's packed with vitamins it's just one scoop of ag1 powder into eight to 12 ounces of water it helps with so much especially with it being the cooler season it's helping so much fight off you know just the cold season things that we tend to get as it really supports whole body health instead of just addressing one area of the body at a time he loves to drink it right before his workout he chugs it watch i enjoy it i sip on it you just chug it back Doesn't it's really good i know see okay in the beginning he was like oh that tastes healthy then as you drink it and you drink it and you keep doing it, it becomes good. something you like, right? This is good before the gym. Yeah. Honestly, it gives me energy. It makes me Does it? work out longer. That's yeah. one of the major benefits I, that I saw too, was that it gave me a lot of energy without having any caffeine in it, which I was happy about because I was resorting to drinking lots of coffee. This gave me so much energy, but it also helps with, it's supporting your immune system. It helps with like, you know, focus and clarity. But I used to drink three cups of coffee a day, two to three. And now yeah, I just drink one in the morning and then... It took him a while to get on it, but once he did, he really, really, 
really enjoyed it. Quickest, simplest thing that you can do for your health every day and it really becomes a daily habit. So definitely try it out if you haven't already. I'll leave them linked. You can go to drinkag1.com slash vlogs and you'll get a free one year supply of their AG1 vitamin D3 K2, which is a drop that you take and also 10 free of their travel packs. So if you're on the go or you just wanna put these in your purse, so you're at work or at the gym, like before the gym, you can just put it into a bottle of water. Highly recommend a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. So when we got back from the flea market, uh, Romeo just put my new easel in the garage. So it's not it's not incredibly heavy, um, but I want to bring it inside and pick a piece of art for it. I want to show you the space that I want to put it. It's over in this area. I'm, I'm very excited, but I got to get it out. And then I think I hope I have a piece of art that's big enough. I feel like we're going to start off with a smallish one. You know, for, for now that I have that I love and I have one in mind, maybe we'll look for one. I also have some bigger frames that just don't have art in them. I'm very excited about this. It had like the perfect amount of patina on it, like from paint and just wear, like someone painted on this and that makes me very happy. Because I actually did see another one very similar at the at the flea market when we were there after I bought this one and it was cheaper, but it wasn't near as pretty. So I'm still happy with my purchase for sure. When they undid it, when we bought it, they kind of showed me how to, and it slides down. That is so cool. I have a big print of a piece of art in the garage, but it's of like an ocean wave. I don't, I don't love it. Like I, I wouldn't want that there. I would want something more this vibe, you know what I mean? But I have some uh, some art still up here. But let's see if there's anything in here. I didn't bring any back from France that were super big because it had to fit in our luggage. And I actually could have brought a lot more back from France than I did because I was underweight on my luggage coming back, which I was really sad about. But it was okay. I mean, I really did by with intention and just like what I really, really loved and wanted. And so all of the art that I brought back is smaller and it's unframed. These are pieces that I found here. I found this one at the Pasadena flea market, the PCC market. Um, I love it. It's like a drawing, like a sketch. I actually thought that this would be the perfect piece for Romeo's room because we're looking for that sketched art, line drawing. It's perfectly framed, honestly. He doesn't have a place in there right now as it's laid out right now that works, but when we did try, um, but when we redesign it later on, this is kind of the vibe that we want to go for. So I have, I have this one that we could use in, in between. It would, I would say it was like a, a medium. <laughs> I have this one that's even smaller, but it's a gorgeous frame. Like this is so pretty. And that's like the vibe, but it's, gonna feel so small on there. And I actually got a pretty large discount on it because it's missing all the detail here. One day I really am going to try and figure out if I can replicate ornate detail. This would be the largest one that I have, but it's like, I got it for like $4 at a thrift store a long time ago. It feels like it should be in a kitchen, obviously. I kind of bought it because I was like, I kind of have to buy it, it's $4. <laughs> you know, like it was a big piece of art. This one is tall taller and it has flowers which is also pretty do we just try these out and see okay here is option one then you can tighten it so that it holds the art in place it looks really good okay that's that's one i mean it doesn't feel like too small but the art could be bigger i felt like this worked better in Romeo's room, obviously, but still a really cool piece. I, re I really like it. Option two is much more on the smaller side. It's really pretty, but it's really small. And I need to fix the side. 
for me to really like it or just like at least put gold rub on it so it's not so visible that it's damaged there until I can learn how to do that. But that one's pretty small, I'd say. I feel like this one is gonna be the best size <laughs> because, I don't know, it's just the biggest. But I feel like it fits better in a kitchen, so to speak, but at least we can tell the sizing. Yeah, I feel like that size works really well. But she's like pouring milk, she's making butter. And the flowers. This one, kind of the frame is too thick for it. It doesn't actually, oh, I see. The picture, the canvas pops out the back. It doesn't really hold it, it's just kind of resting on it. So that one probably doesn't work at all. Oh, and it's very skinny. <laughs> Since the easel is tall and skinny and the art is tall and skinny, it looks like the proportions are like very elongated. So I don't like this one. I don't like its size. I also have my thinking man. He's not framed though. Do I have a frame for the thinking man? <laughs> Hold on. I do not have a frame for thinking man. This is thinking man. But we could also be on a mission to find a frame big enough for thinking man or just a new completely framed art that's big enough for this. I wanna see what, what he looks like. He's so cool, I love him. You know what it actually kind of looks like? That it's not framed, that I'm painting him. And I did not paint him, but it's like in process. I think I'm gonna leave him. <laughs> I, think, I think he's gonna stay. Uh, but this was a good, it was, this was a good option though. Like I really love this and I can't wait to put this somewhere. I mean, I do have other art that would work that, but it's already on the walls. And I don't wanna start taking rooms apart to put them somewhere else, you know? Like I love everything where we have it styled, like in the bedroom and the entryway and up the staircase. Like I don't wanna start picking things apart. I, I used to do that a lot and then I'm like, oh, I gotta find something from there now, and blah, 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 blah. Never works out really well. I'm gonna leave him, he's Morning, cute. guys, it's the next day. Today is all day nursery doing things. We're gonna work on the bottom half of the room today like painting the all the beadboard and um, I got it all perfected and stuff we need to cut down you know the baseboards and things we're gonna be doing that all day but I do have a quick meeting first the business side of things I just ordered some some lunch for us to early lunch so that we're fueled and ready to go and I just want to hit the ground running um, on doing it I'm feeling good I've been getting a lot accomplished over the last <laughs> <laughs> couple of days I've been feeling like so great second trimester man something else like I really feel like some days I feel like if my belly wasn't getting bigger by the moment I would believe that I'm not pregnant it's like that normal like my I do feel out of breath most like if I exert myself too much and more so than than normal obviously but besides that I feel so good I'm very good very grateful. First trimester was not so much. So we're gonna, hello, Kinsley. She always makes me nervous when she stands on the back of this chair, but she's so agile. Oh my God, Kinsley. Hi, hi. say hi. Hi. Say hi. What a model. How are you guys? Good, good. good. How are you? I know, you good to see you guys. I felt great. Amazing, you're going. Thank you. We yeah, have briefed him on just your whole kind of business and a little bit of a background of how the podcast started, how you want to evolve. But okay, yeah. done with my meeting and I need your advice. I want you guys to tell me <laughs> because I have been brainstorming things with the podcast. And if you don't know, I do have a podcast. It's called With My Own Two Hands, but I've been thinking about it in a way of like completely kind of revamping it and making it like a really special place to go where for content that you can't get other places and topics that we talk about that is not just a, for lack of a better word, a regurgitation of the same things that maybe I post on YouTube, on my main channel, or on my vlog, or on other social media, you know? Like I think there needs to be a reason why you would want to watch those videos of the podcast or listen to the audio versions. And the first year of anything that I do is all experimentation. 
It's understanding, especially a new platform, which was totally new to me. And I dedicate a year to everything that I do. I did that in the beginning of starting my YouTube channel. Um, I was like, I'm not even paying attention to data. We're just going to like really be consistent with this and like really go into it. And it was really about me exploring what kind of topics I enjoyed talking about too, which was, was really difficult. And I've made some structural changes, um, in terms of just like people that are involved and, and how, and learning myself to make it better, better understand the podcast world and better understand what I want to deliver through it and gain from it. Like all the things, the first year is very exploration, right? So going into a new season, I would love your advice because I really want to bring in some like segments through this, this last couple of weeks. I have been really like diving into a lot of your DMS that you send me on Instagram, um, and just like, comments on the YouTube videos and really what you guys are asking for, like what's missing, like what's the missing puzzle piece, I guess. And so I've come up with a few, I get a lot of questions on the business side, which is not something that I talk about. At really at all but you know i'm about to be a new mom with a product business and running a business of being you know like a content creator and producing online and there's a whole side of that that i never talk about so i saw a lot of questions about that and i also always get tons of questions about your design issues and wanting advice or tips on how you can change a room and how you can make it better and how i would approach that and gosh back in 2020 I started a email. I don't even remember what it is now. I, I, I don't have access to it anymore, but I started an email where you guys could send in your design questions and I called them design dilemmas. And I would try and help you guys as much as I could, but there was there was a lot. I mean, you guys had so many questions. You would send in photos and stuff. And then they're really, cause that was really the only way for me to see the real issue and stuff. And then I was like working on my own project. So I couldn't dedicate a lot of time to answering everyone's emails. But what if we had a platform where that was a segment where we talked about, you know, like you would send in your dilemmas and you would, we would go through them, you know, and I would kind of find a commonality between like what most people are struggling with. And, and I would give advice on what, just what I would do in that space could be a segment. There's so many things that I think it could turn into and maybe it could be just a catch all where we do different segments and we talk about different things as you guys send in, you know, questions. So I tried to think and write down a list of things that I really enjoyed about the podcast and the things that weren't working either for me or for you guys, you know, like what what it really was. And one of the things that I really loved is when you guys sent in your, you know, topics or questions or um, we were kind of like communicating in that way really enjoyed that. So I want to incorporate that in a way that makes sense and um, just have every episode be really like just helpful. So let me know, please comment. One, if you enjoy podcasts in general, I'm personally not a huge podcast only audio listener, except when I'm like on my walks or something in the mornings. Like I, I do like to like listen to a podcast. I listened to so many podcasts when I was commuting to work and I feel like a lot of you guys do that. So when I was in corporate, I was commuting to work. I could listen to a 30, 35 minute episode, you know, and it was great. Um, so let me know if you one, listen to podcasts or two, if you're more like me now where you will watch the video version of a podcast. Cause that's something that was really important to me. And I do that now. So I will, watch someone's podcast now. So that's just how I digest it. And I watch them on YouTube in three or four or five. What would you like to see? And would you also be like sending in your design dilemmas or would be interested in more of the business side? And we have so much background in business and it's something that I really enjoy, but it's something that I never talk about. So I feel like there's something there. I want to take this month to really brainstorm what it could be. Um, and it can change and alter because of the structural changes I've made to the podcast. Um, I have 100% control over what it could be. So we could change it all the time, whatever you guys, like I just want to it to be a platform that you guys enjoy. So you gotta let me know. But that was a great meeting. That was just with my team, just to brainstorm on our end. Um, so I'm really excited about what that can become. And I hope to bring it back in March. So let me know. And we are going to work on the nursery all day. Romeo's gonna cut some wood for me because I have 
entered a world where I'm scared because of the baby to use power tools. <laughs> I have entered that world, especially the scarier ones, the saws, the table saw I won't touch. That thing scared me long before baby came to be, but <laughs> we're not doing that. So Romeo has, has uh, offered himself as tribute to slim down some baseboards <laughs> that I need. Um, I'm still keep adding to the galaxy wall because I just want it to be like so perfect and it's been time consuming, but it's gonna be so, so amazing. So you guys will see that part two and final episode of the nursery makeover on Sunday. So put on the little notification so you know exactly when it's uploaded on Sunday over on my other main channel. And I think today is when I'm getting all the renders for the kitchen. So that's gonna be like the next kind of project that I'm gonna work on. So, oh, so many exciting things, you guys. I'm just like, today's gonna be a great day. So I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you on Sunday on my other channel and again on Tuesday. <laughs>